Absolute shock. Yeah, I was really stunned. I didn't realise, I didn't expect to get that sort of a result. I think many Australians think that other people have health problems and they won't. You know, and so it, they, they just don't think about it. In WA, we like to think of ourselves as a fairly healthy lot. Great weather, good lifestyle. But the results of a national survey by pharmacy Priceline has turned up some disturbing results. Western Australians are below the average when it comes to being aware of their own health um, triggers, if you like. They're um, approximately 57% of the respondents on the survey that we conducted are unaware of their high blood pressure. 60,000 people took part in the online survey. The results showed how people's age in years compared to their health age. Priceline pharmacist Justin Withers says Central Perth topped the nation as far as the smallest difference between real and health age. But WA lagged badly overall. It would appear that Western Australians are possibly, I guess you could call them alarmingly lower than the rest of the country in knowing where it is that they need to be with regards to their health triggers. The biggest risk factors for increasing your health age are blood pressure, cholesterol, lack of sleep, lack of exercise and a poor diet. I did the survey a couple of days ago. Um, I was asked a series of questions about my um, sleep patterns. Of course with two young children my sleep is uh, pretty disturbed every night. I don't get a lot of sleep. Um, I was also asked about my, uh, you know, the amount of fruit and vegetables I eat every day, fish, all that, you know, digging deep into the diet basically. 35-year-old Perth mother of two, Kiri Tiapa, admits when it comes to diet and exercise, she falls behind. But she was stunned to see just how that translated into health age. The end result was that I have a health age of 50, which is a lot higher than of my, my actual age. So that was pretty depressing and a bit of a shock. 57% of West Australians who did the survey had no idea what their blood pressure was and 73% didn't know their cholesterol level. I'm guilty of that as well. I have no idea what my blood pressure or cholesterol is. So um, I'm going to be booked in next week to have that all checked and have a general health checkup as well. They don't really understand the ramifications of high blood pressure and high sugar levels and high cholesterol. Media giant Ita Buttrose is an ambassador for the Priceline Health Study. She says these simple tests can save lives. It's important to have your cholesterol and blood pressure checked because they can be indicators of health issues that you might face later on. So, you know, it's just one of those things you should have, I believe, in having an annual checkup. And I always get these things checked so I know how I'm travelling. Ita says her health age test revealed she was two years younger than her real age. I did do the Priceline Health Survey and I am two years younger. My health age is two years younger than my actual age. So I was really relieved because I thought, oh my God, what if, what if I don't perform well here? So I was a bit nervous, but no, two years younger, so I'm quite happy with that. So my health age is 38 and my real age is 40. So I was really pleasantly surprised by the results. I, I kind of thought it would be a couple of years you know, older, between two and five years older is what I thought it would come out at. Seven Sally Obermeter is also an ambassador. She says simple things like blood pressure and cholesterol are easy to overlook or ignore, but they can be killers. I think the most important thing is awareness and I think any campaign that is about awareness, that is about saying to people, hey, put your health first, go, get checked, is the first step for prevention and that is the steps towards stopping people dying from strokes, heart attack, all those kind of diseases that we suffer.